So the journey for us making our vegan Filipino ice cream actually started was not vegan, but something happened where our family had a lot of diseases and that's where my mom said we need to turn plant-based diet. And that's why I was like, well, I have to make sure that my recipe emulates exactly what our family is going through in that moment. So I changed all of our recipes to be one single base where they're all coconut based and here we are. Personally, I find our culture very important for me to infuse into my business. Different perspectives are so important from all walks of life. We are encouraged to listen and we are encouraged to try something new. We want families to really come together and have flavors that you would see in the Philippines that are street foods or family favorites at the home. So we do our flavors seasonal wise so that way you can kind of understand I'm having this flavor only in this time because this is what you would see in Philippines at this time. We're here serving up three flavors. We got ginataan mais, ginataan mongo, and we also have manga at sago. So manga for mango, at sago is letting you know that there's sago pearls, which is a tapioca pearl, topped with a drizzle of coconut milk. Even our flavors are in the Tagalog language. It will always have a lot of people asking, like, I have no idea what this flavor is, and we're like, great, and they try to say it as opposed to say like, I can't say that. I just want that one. Everyone is encouraged to say it and they feel great after trying. And so I think creating that nurturing environment has always been a blessing for us to see people being willing and wanting to share that with other people. So my favorite thing is when I see customers who are Filipino and who are not Filipino stare at our booth when it's Filipino families or even a Filipino millennial coming up. They'll just say like, my mom would love this. I wish that she was here. And then they would just start telling me about like how their mom made that dish for them, how this is something that they miss and that they haven't had in a while. Having that moment to hear that is very special. And when we have our next pop-up and actually seeing them again with their whole unit of their family is even more special. And that's exactly what we want. We want the stories to be said, not from us telling the story, but from the family sharing it within each other that might not have been shared before or haven't had the place to. And what's even more special is when someone isn't of Filipino descent and they come by and they're just really thankful that we exist and they just say like, I've never had anything Filipino before, but I have a Filipino friend or I have some a strange connection to the Philippines or maybe they don't have any idea what Philippines or a Filipino looks like. So by being there and being able to talk with them about whatever questions they have outside of the ice cream means that they're connecting from a human to human level. How often do you see ice cream that allows you to talk about topics beyond it just being this tastes good?